In today's video, we will discuss control valve troubleshooting. From this video, you will learn how to overcome control valve related problems in instrumentation. Suppose there is a control valve and it is not fully closed at 4 or 20 milliampere signal. We will adjust the control valve opening by zero screw or button. We will adjust either by pneumatic positioner or electro pneumatic positioner. But sometimes it happens that control valve is not fully closed at 4 milliampere signal, even by doing zero or span setting. Now we will understand how to solve this problem. There may be two possible reasons. We will discuss these one by one. The first reason is diaphragm leakage. It may be a possibility that pneumatic control valve diaphragm is leakage. The control valve diaphragm is shown in the image. If the control valve diaphragm is Leakage control valve will not operate properly. Control valve diaphragm remains in the area shown by the arrow. You can better understand by this image. Control valve diaphragm remains in this part of control valves. Now, we will see how to recognize that control valve diaphragm is leakage. Control valves usually have a vent. You can see this by the circle shown. If the diaphragm is leakage, air leakage will be there from this vent. Air may be leakage from the control valve diaphragm area. As shown by the arrow and the circle. We welcome you to your own channel, Engineering Study English, for free instrumentation classes. Subscribe to our channel, if you like the video, do like, and share. If the diaphragm is found leakage, we will change the diaphragm of control valve. To change the control valve diaphragm, we will open the screws, or Nut bolts, the control valve will look as shown in the image. We will remove the upper side cover. After opening the upper side cover, we will find the control valve diaphragm as shown by the arrow. After change the diaphragm, all the nut bolts must be tightened properly. Make sure about nut bolts tightening. Otherwise, air leakage may be there. If the control valve diaphragm is found OK, then we will proceed to the next step. The second reason is control valve spring adjustment. In case of air to open control valve, if the control valve is not fully closed at 4 milliampere signal. And in case of air to closed control valve, if the control valve is not fully closed at 20 milliampere signal. Now we will see how to do spring adjustment. First, we will understand what is the function of spring in a control valve. Air signal is first applied to diaphragm, then it goes to spring. So, if the control valve is not fully closed, we can also adjust the control valve opening by spring adjustment. Control valve spring has screw. 
You can see the screw by the circle shown in the left and right images. We will adjust the spring. We will compress the spring. We will loose or tight the spring to adjust the opening of the pneumatic control valve. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends.